Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how I used Canva to create a vintage travel poster inspired by this Library of Congress blog post about vintage travel posters. By the way, the Library of Congress has a great collection of free to use and reuse prints and photographs, including a section just about travel posters like these here. And I saw these and thought I'd try my hand at making my own. So this is what I came up with here in Canva. So I made this poster and I'm gonna show you how I did this. I cannot draw at all, but I still made this poster. So let me show you how I did it. First of all, I used a blank poster template and I knew that I wanted to do something about one of the national parks in the United States. And at first, I searched for Yellowstone in the elements here. I did a search for Yellowstone. And I found a lot of photographs, but I didn't want a photograph. I wanted something that looked a little bit more like it was hand-drawn. And all I really found were these kind of clip art things and this one down here that didn't exactly match what I wanted and I found this one as well but I then moved on to my favorite national park which is Grand Teton which I've been to and can't wait to take my daughters to see and I found this image here and I put that on the page and then just clicked and dragged to make it fit the whole page. And so that became my background. Then the next thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to put in an image of someone looking at the mountains or exploring the mountains. And what I did here is I did a search for binoculars. And as I scrolled through here, I eventually came down and found an image. I found this one first, and I tried that one, but it didn't quite have the attributes that I wanted, even when I changed the color scheme. It still wasn't quite what I wanted. So I deleted that one, and I kept on scrolling down until I found this one here. And I found this one and I wanted to make it so that it looked like she was actually standing on the ground and not in the middle of the water. So I moved it over there, but she's now facing the wrong way. So I used the flip and flipped it around. So now she looks like she's actually looking forward as opposed to looking off of the, off of the poster. And I wanted to change the color scheme so that she stood out a little bit more from the background. And I just changed the clothing like that. And again, I can move by clicking and dragging. I can move the size and the position. And the last thing that I did is I went in to add some text. And I could have just used some of this subheading text, but instead what I did is I scrolled down, kind of looking for something a little bit more fun, had a little more uh, playfulness to it. And so I scrolled down through here and found this one that kind of matched what I had in mind. And I ungrouped it so that I could just use the section that said wild and I deleted the sale part. So I just typed in explore America with my exclamation point. And because I have it ungrouped, I can now click and drag just one little part portion of it or delete a little portion of it. So I deleted that portion, deleted that portion, left it to just that, and I dragged it across the top 
where I then made it a little bit larger by just using my font tool up here. You can see, make it about 165 point font. And I changed the color scheme to again, make it stand out a bit. And there we have it. Now I can pivot that a little bit more. And I have my poster. Now, obviously, I could have added a lot more attributes and a lot more things to this poster, but I was happy with it as is. And now I wanted to download it. I can download it as a PDF, in my case, for the blog post that I've put this poster into. I download it as a PNG file, and I'll have it saved right there on my desktop. Again, could also have done any of these other options here, including even sharing it to social media, printing it on a t-shirt, or just downloading it as a PDF for printing. So that's how I created a vintage travel poster by using Canva and how I was inspired by the Library of Congress's collection of free to use and reuse travel posters. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.